you have 20 essential amino acids that are essential for building proteins, building, building proteins for muscle. 11 of them are non-essential. The reason why they're considered non-essential doesn't mean you don't need them, but your body produces them on its own. So you don't need to consume them in your food. They're not, they're not mandatory to consume. Then you have nine essential amino acids, which your body has to get. And the example is, is like building a car. It's like someone could be like, let's say they have 20 frames and 20 steering wheels and 20 engines. And they're like, I got 20 cars here. But let's say they only have enough tires for eight cars. They don't have 20 cars. They have eight cars and they have a bunch of leftover parts that are not car that are not cars yet unless you added more wheels. And so protein is very similar. There are rate limiting amino acids. So if you're not having enough leucine for example, so they say it's about I think 2.4 grams of leucine you need that stimulates muscle protein synthesis. If you're eating like a uh, um like one of those beef sticks that have nine grams of protein. You're like, I got my nine grams of protein. This is great. It wasn't enough to hit the threshold to get enough of those amino acids and to hit that thing to stimulate that muscle protein synthesis. So when you have vegetable protein, so if you have 25 grams of protein from quinoa, that's not the same as 25 grams of protein from Chick from meat or like from a chicken breast or from fish or from something from something like that. First of all, you're gonna need a I mean 25 grams from quinoa is gonna be like a garbage can worth of worth of quinoa. Where 25 grams from chicken breast is like this big. Or 25 grams of peanut butter, 25 grams, he's like, oh peanut butter is great for you because it's high protein. It's high everything. Like it's high in all of it. So if you eat enough peanut butter that gives you enough protein. You're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna die of obesity. You're not gonna be able to get off the couch. So that's where the the the, the type of protein that you're consuming is also really important. And there is this thing called the protein digestibility adjusted index, something like that, or digest accessibility index, where you can look it up and you can see like there's ratings, and you'll see that like you know meat, eggs, all those things are at the top, where other ones are much lower scores, meaning you can't utilize all of it as as efficiently.